Uh, about Chinese, now, now that you mention it, I wanted to sort of tie a question about Chinese to maybe a Mephistophelian gambit in that you mention in the book, which is, you know, I don't know if you've come across it yet, but my wife is often at the computer and she says, uh, what is it? Wo yao du shao. Have you ever come across that phrase? No. Uh, like, oh, I'm, sure. <laughs> Chinese is, I'm just getting into. Right. And although I recognize Wu Xiao, um, because I took on French, my worst subjects at school by so far were languages because my memory is naturally so bad. And uh, so when the readers of Memory Code kept talking about how would we use these methods for languages, I kept resisting, but eventually I had to give in. So I went back to French, which I did at school and couldn't remember anything except the odd word right. and found using the memory methods was a completely different world. Um, right. So I decided to take on a bigger challenge and take on Chinese. Right. But I've got absolutely hooked on the, the continuation of the uh, characters because it's the only language which you can find right from the pre-literate um, times, right from the uh, early symbols and the development of all the characters right through. And they use art forms for memory, you know, the memory, mm. great long scrolls and things. So I've got absolutely hooked on ancient Chinese art and the development of the characters more than the speaking of it. Well, you so mentioned... Not very good at it yet. Oh. So back to your wife's... I wasn't, I wasn't meaning to test your Chinese, but rather if you just come across that phrase, uh, because she sits there at the computer, she's looking at pots and pans, and she says, I have to cut my hand off, right? That's what that means. means I should cut my hand off. And I was relating that a little bit to this moment in the book where you talk about how it's almost, to me, it seems like a Faust moment or a Mephistophelian moment where you just get more in your memory and you want more, and then you want more and more and more, and it's like this self-interfering kind of magical stunt that you can and perform. People look at these methods and say, but actually you're having to remember more. Mm. But it just doesn't feel like that, because once I've got a memory palace set down, like for all the radicals of the Chinese, I then have hooks for everything. Right. For all the countries of the world, all of prehistory and history, I have hooks for everything, and therefore I want to add more and more. But because I'm doing 35 different experiments and taken on a huge range of topics in order to test the methods, I get to the stage sometimes my brain just wants everything now. <laughs> uh, life is so much more dynamic and alive. Yeah. It's your landscape and your world is filled with all these hooks.